All right, baby, what are we doing? We are tearing our stove down to repair it. And it's uh, quite nerve wracking. We are dependent on this stove for this season, so if anything goes wrong, it's pretty much we're out of luck. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be kind of a hit and miss situation, so it could turn into some substantial repairs that will be hmm, very complicated to, to get it repaired and accomplished. Who knows when the last time this stove was taken apart and uh, what's going to become of it as it gets taken apart. This is the stove project we was telling you about. As you can see, we've got it all torn apart. And for the most part, um, came apart pretty well, considering. Uh, some bolts went ahead and broke off and they ran through cast iron threading. So what we're gonna have to go ahead and do is just uh, Go ahead and drill that out as an entire hole and we'll have to run a new bolt and nut and probably a washer to go ahead and make that a, a good connection point again um, not that it was a bad design um, it's just not gonna work anymore so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade it so that it's improved and if we ever do have to tear the stove apart again that it's gonna come apart a lot easier we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up for y'all and we'll show you what's next y'all so this is part of the prep work for brazing the cracks in the stove so correct me if I'm wrong if some of you all out there know a bit more about this than I do uh, I am a welder and I'm not just a welder like I'm really good perhaps I'll throw a uh, picture of something that I've done in here Yeah, so that's what I do. I'm a welder. I'm not just your run-of-the-mill guy off the street. Yeah, I got a buddy that can weld. No. But when it comes to brazing, I've never actually really brazed before. So from what I understand, the technique is you have to gouge, gouge the crack so that the uh, filler metal actually holds on the ends, the two legs. As far as I understand it, the actual throat or center of the braze does not actually penetrate into the metal that you're, uh, that you're filling in. So as you can see, the old stove's got a lot of cracks in it. Now, I'd like to go ahead and eventually replace both these two side panels. Uh, but for the time being, I mean, that's, this is kind of a, I guess you would say kind of a rare stove. Um, so for timely purpose, winter's upon us here shortly. So we'll go ahead and we'll 
prepare the stove and then we'll do the uh, fabrication and then we're gonna get to see what's inside the box which is gonna be really cool you still with me so far all right here we go the special the, <clears throat> the secret rare ingredient folks ready what's in the magic box copper plates this is gonna take and turn the stove hopefully into a powerhouse it's all theoretical but this should evenly disperse the heat amongst the sides of the cast iron plates and keep them from bending and cracking so ideally like I said I don't want to place those, but it's just not in the budget right now. So, this is the game plan. So let's get this on the fire, get it heated up, we'll get the uh, one side on top, we'll preheat the weldment, and then we'll start braising it. That's smoky? It's a bit smoky, we're still picking up the fire. What we're doing is we're gonna utilize those plates for two purposes. We're gonna utilize it to preheat the iron so that when we braise it, it's all uniform in heat so that it all cool, heats and cools at the same level. Because once this is all done, the iron's gonna have to just completely cool down. So we're gonna utilize it for two purposes. The first purpose is to install it in the side of the stove so that it keeps the heat uniform and keeps it from cracking anymore. Second purpose we're gonna utilize it for. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it wants to follow. It always wants to follow you. Second purpose we're going to go ahead and utilize it while we have it out of the stove so that we can evenly heat the iron because if you don't know this about cast iron it does not heat uniform so you could have a small flame underneath the center and it will not heat the outside of that pan or pot so it has to be over a completely uniform flame that's why cast iron works the best on a wood stove or in a campfire.